This is a brief introduction to making fuel briquettes with the Peterson Press. If you're not familiar, fuel briquettes are made from agricultural waste and are an alternative to using wood or charcoal as a cooking fuel, particularly in developing countries, extreme poverty countries, where cooking fuel can be half the, the income of a family. This is one made using leaves and uh, some sawdust, uh, a little bit of uh, grass. You can uh, make all kinds of different recipes depending on what's available in your area. For our demonstration today, since we're in the United States in springtime and in Western Oregon, we have no leaves. So I have some uh, grass clippings here that um, have been stored in black plastic for a couple of weeks so that they turn to straw but yet have not uh, decomposed have some sawdust uh, shavings and have some uh, paper that's gone through a paper shredder. You take your uh, ingredients, mix them with lots of water to form a very soupy mixture and then you uh, compress them into the, the briquette using a, a mold set. This mold set has a wooden base, a Schedule 40 PVC tube, very important that it's at least Schedule 40 because we're going to subject it to about 2,000 pounds of pressure and if you tried to use uh, black uh, poly tube which typically is used for irrigation it's not nearly strong enough and will burst. So we put this together we have a uh, galvanized steel water pipe which we use as our centerpiece and from uh, practice I know that it takes um, two of these containers per briquette so I just uh, dump this in and then I have a metal washer which is my uh, separator so I put that in I use my piston just to make sure that things are in and level I have two more of, of these If we were doing this in a production environment, we would be very careful to be capturing all of this excess water. At this point, I'm up to the top. I can put my piston in. I have a mark, so I'm going to run this down to the mark, which tells me I now have three inches left to compress. In the, the past, the compression was done with a large wooden press that was uh, about six feet long with about a five foot handle, uh, compound lever, so it was uh, large, relatively hard to, um, to manufacture correctly and, uh, and fairly costly. This is, you can see, is a completely static press. There's no moving parts. We use uh, a two-ton hydraulic bottle jack for the, the compression. And this is uh, readily available anywhere in the in the world, uh, in a, like an auto parts or auto supply store. We tighten it up and now we're going to use it. Once we've gotten it up to the top, we can now cut off the pressure in the jack. We have our briquettes are in here to get them out. We put them on the ejection stand. Okay, now I have my briquettes. I can take these off, separate them in the sun for about three days or if it's cloudy weather about uh, five days to, to dry them and then they'll be ready to, to burn. And that's the end.